Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Pat Winlink just got a really cool new feature. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. So in case you missed it, over this past weekend, Pat version 0.12.1 .1 was released and I was looking through the changes that are included in this new version and one of the things that caught my eye was this right here. Add support for scriptable message composition. This was big. It took me a second to wrap my head around it but this is really really cool because it allows us to be able to write scripts to interact with Pat Winlink. So we can use this to automate certain things on our system. And we'll walk through that in just a second. Briefly, I want to jump over and show you guys a script of mine. This is uh, one of the catalog functions inside of uh, Pat Menu. So, and this is just kind of one of those things that uh, works behind the scenes uh, when you're using Pat Menu. You'll see right here, this is the beginning of my script for composing new emails. This is roughly 40 lines of code. This is what I used to have to do to be able to create a message and post it into the Pat Menu inbox, or outbox rather. Now, it's super simple and we only need one line of code to replace all of this mess here. So let me give you an, guys an idea of how it works. This is my Pat Outbox here. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal window to go with that. I want you to be able to see both of these at the same time. Now if you ever need help with uh, Pat Winlink from the command line, you can always run Pat help. And tell you what, before I hit the return on that, let me make this window a little bit bigger because that way it'll keep it all on uh, single lines instead of uh, kind of jumbling all the lines up. But this gives you a lot of information of how you can use Pat Winlink from the command line. Now, typically, we probably don't, at least most of us, probably don't interact with Pat using the command line. We all go up, and I'm guilty of this as well, and we just use the GUI outbox that's presented inside the web browser. But occasionally, I want to do something from the command line, and more times than not, it's because I'm writing a script to do something, or to have Pat do something, rather. So let me show you guys how this works. We're going to use the echo command first, and we're just going to say this is the body. Notice that is wrapped in quotation marks. The next thing I'm going to do is pipe that first command into another command. So we'll give it the pipe symbol right there. And the next thing we want to do is say pat compose. We're going to give it the call sign or the email address of the recipient. So in this case, I'll send this one to my brother-in-law, W4RPW. Then I'm going to say dash dash subject and this is the subject so that's going to be the subject line of the email now as soon as i hit return on this you're going to see that it'll tell me the message has been uh, i believe it says stuck in the outbox or something along those lines but you'll also be able to see it populate right here in the main pat mailbox that you guys are all familiar with so let's go ahead and press return on this and it says message posted, and there you can see the message ready to be sent out. Now, why am I so excited about this? Who wants to write an email like this? Well, the cool thing about this is this allows us to easily interact with Pat in any of our scripts. And I'm going to do another video where I go into uh, how we can do this in more detail in the future, but we could have our Raspberry Pis automatically doing something, checking something, whatever we can dream up, and then it could alert us using a WinLink message to send out an email. And remember, with WinLink, we can also send text messages. So there's a couple of different ways we can use Pat to automate things and automate, well, automate those messages coming out to us. 
So let's do a super simple script to show you how this works. So I'm going to create a new file with nano uh, test message dot sh. And that'll create that file. So first I'm just going to give it a quick shebang line. And next we're going to enter in the uh, contents of this email. So remember we do the echo command. And then we're going to pipe that through pat compose. And I'm going to send this one to my regular email. So km4ack at arrl.net. And let's give it that subject line again. Remember, hyphen, hyphen, subject. This is the subject. Even though I can't spell, we'll let it go with that. Now, that only posts it in our outbox. We actually want the message to be sent out. Now, we can do this over RF, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use a telnet connection. So the next command that we're going to give it is pat connect telnet. And now I'm simply going to save this file. So control S to save it, control X to get out. Now I'm not even going to take the time to make this executable. I'm just going to call it with bash test message dot sh. And there you go. Not only did it create that message, but it also sent it out using the Telnet connection. So a super cool new feature added in the very latest version of Pat. And again, I'll be covering some more of this in the future and how you might want to integrate it into your systems. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off, and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, I'm going to give it open quotation marks and say this is the subject. Close quotation marks. Now as soon as I hit enter on this, you're going to see that it tells me the message has been generated and you're going to be able to see it pop up into the outbox right here in Pat Winlink. So let's go ahead and press return on this. Ah crap. Forgot something. <laughs> Got to give it a call sign.